This is the Minimax travel kit. I'm Johnny. This is Elena, the lady behind this light. Let's find out more. You're watching Synity, supported by B H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Helena from Hobolite. How are you? I'm good. Helena from Hobolite, and then I'm the founder and I'm the CEO. Wait, not so fast. Let me surprise the people. Okay, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 all good. So since you already went straight to the point and said that you're the founder and the CEO, really in a nutshell, because I'm really hoping one day to do a greater story about what you do in life because it's fascinating. In two sentences, how is life in Hobolite? I mean, why did you come with the idea to create such a lighting company? Okay, so actually behind Hobolite is a company that comes with 24 years history. So Hobolite is a new brand, maybe just a two and a half years, but behind is a 24 years company focused on design, engineering, manufacturing, only on premium potball lighting solutions providing. And those premium lighting solutions are only for our filming industry or you also do, you know, for, I don't know, Very, for various industries. We actually were auto mechanic application and we also industrial applications. So that's why we are very dedicated on high end customers needs. So not only just for something you buy for using like three months or six months and then change to a new one, but actually we focus on people who are using 30 days, or, no, 300 days a year and then doing that all the time, eight hours a day. So that's about, we say, definition of premium. Where is the company located? It is located in Shanghai, the headquarter, but our branding headquarter is in America. Okay, so very much multi yeah. yes. It's true. We, um, this is a company very international. It's funded by an American guy, and I took over from him in 2009. And because he's actually want to find a partner and then you know uh, we were joint venture with the Scandinavian company for another seven years so this is a real international company we have all different kind of we our engineers and our staff from United States in like a New Jersey and New York and then LA and then Miami and then also we have partners in Europe everywhere Germany UK and then you know we also have Australian we also Korean we have Japanese and we then have China I'm sure we, we could have talked about the company for hours. <laughs> it sounds interesting, especially, you know, there's a, a lady on top of uh, having everything under control. It's always fascinating for me um, in, in the sense of I, I see so many Chinese ladies, they're owning companies. And I'm really starting to think if that's a, if this is something uh, unique in China, that so many strong women have a company. You know why? Because we all have a one child policy for many years. Mm. And when we have the only child, which is a bond with a female, mm. okay, so we have all the education opportunity. And I major in engineering. And I like that because mechanical and electrical engineering background give me a lot of chance to really see the world in a much logical way. And then because of I also have a very, very big passion to art, to good design. So combine them together. Also, I'm working in different kind of countries and I'm travel all different kind of countries, experience all different kind of cultures. All those kind of beautiful design here and there inspired me to do something better. Good. So let's talk about design. Yep. In a minute, we're going to talk about your latest innovation. Yep. But before we even ju jump uh, and talk about that particular light, all of your lights are very unique in the way they look. Yep. Where are you getting the inspiration to create something so different? I'm a big fan of the photography. You know, I'm not a professional photographer, but I love it. I knew that very early when I was six years old. I started to do the train. I mean, painting, drawing all by myself. No one really teach me. I never been in the school to do that, but love that. And then, you know, I pick up the I, the camera back to like 14 years old, and I try to shoot the pictures by myself. So I love all those kind of beautiful things. And who really can refuse the beautiful things? And then when I look at the lighting in this industry, when I create my uh, my lighting brand in industrial market, and I working with the studio in United States, in Europe, and then having them to shoot a video for my brand. And then I noticed that they have a lot of pain point by using the lights in the market. Everything looks like a black bulky, and then they can be put on the card and th throw out everywhere, right? But you really care about your camera. So why are you taking care of your camera that nice? And then even something like a Rolex, you don't have any chance to use them anymore, but you still keep them in a very beautiful closet, right? And show to your people, to your friends, and then give it to your next generation. Why we can't make a design of the light to be as good looking as camera? That's my only concern from that moment. I want to bring the light into a level like a camera and make people care this is something good because we all know in this industry how important of light to a good photo, good video. Good. So that's very inspiring to hear. Now, I would like to know a little bit about the new light and how do you manage to put so much power 
into such a small device. So first of all, please, in, in short, because I want to really go through step by step, yep. let's talk about the light and expose it to our audience. Okay, so this is our new Max family, Mini Max. And why Max? Because we always want to deliver a message is people used to say, I want 600 watts, I want 300 watts. They talk about watts, but I'm talking about efficiency or brightness because what matters to you finally as a content creator is the brightness. So by using this Mini Max, it is only 40 watts. Only 40 watts? And then we try to use our talents and our knowledge of the optic design and then with the rotation to be 350 percentage increase of the brightness in one second means by using a 40 watts you actually can get almost 180 watts brightness in that area most of the case you don't need to have a very very big area you only have that special area and the other thing is by using our optic design we actually make sure the light is very clean and it's very evenly smoothly delivered so you won't have a harsh central point there when you do the portrait when you do any objectives it's going to be a clean beautiful light so you don't why we want to spend so much effort on all those kind of optic design because we are part of talking about today's the content creating and for example now you're here right and you are location shooting all the time even you are studio in the second floor go to the first floor is a location shooting so the location shooting is something tend to be our normal situation and then try to bring the things as easy as possible because you cannot bring a 200 watts in your hands in a bag in a backpack that easy but with our 40 lines with the I mean 40 watts with the 180 watts brightness on the central you actually can manage to bring this kind of system in your backpack anywhere with you. So what is the best gear, the gear in your backpack? I'm with you. That's why whatever doesn't fit in my backpack stays behind right. as a documentary filmmaker. Right. Just as I mentioned to you, I'm going to be in seven countries, 10 cities in 22 days. I only have my carry-on luggage. And how many things I should put in my carry-on luggage, I'm definitely going to watch out. And people like you, you only have two checking luggage maximum normally, right? So what things you are going to put there is very important. So let me guess. One of the checked in, in the luggage is this light. Okay, no, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Good, so we talked about the lens and yep. obviously you are trying very, I'm saying very hard in a positive way to, to have an optical quality in front of the lens. Yes. That's one thing. What else? Let, let me see what, uh, let me just uh, lower a little bit so that doesn't blind yep. us for now. We can have a very easy setup. Okay, for example, I can very fast to go to 25 percentage. Maybe percentage. Not your face yeah. because otherwise we would be overexposed. Yeah. So let's just, we go to actually only now, for example, 5 percentage. Mm. Yeah, it's bright enough already. Yeah. Okay. But next to the normal, normal um, features that some of the lights have, uh, for Compared example, yeah, yeah, so let's go first of all with powering because I see that you chose not to have any built in battery, but you want the battery to be actually here. Why? Yes, this is a we call travel kit because again, we are working all the time on the location. For example, I'm going to do some shooting on this event, right? This show, IBC. And then I need to have something in my hand. And then I need to have a handle and I need to have a battery pack and I need to have a tripod. It's not impossible, impossible. So I try to do a good weight balance. I put the battery and the handle to combine in one thing we call light dock. And then by using this system, you can connect them together. And then I can hold that with a very good balance. Hours, I have no problem for me. I mean, I'm not a strong man, right? So if it is one hour for me, <laughs> yeah, so one hour for me is okay. Then one hour is okay for almost everyone. So that's the point. And another thing is we try to give a very easy user interference experience because I'm not a very professional videographer or lighting expert. I try to make things easier because I want to focus on my contents. What matters is about the contents itself, trying to attractive and then with the deliver the right message. So I want to just, I mean, how to say brightness, and then color. That's all I need. If I really want to go to some of the effects, we also have all the options. And if you want to have more complicated possibilities, go to our app. It's amazing how how fast the lady knows in and out the product. It's really nice. Are you, yeah, the, are you the designer? Design yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, the connector, the connections here are USB-C or something else? Yeah, all Type-C. Because, you know, we have another very important culture of Hopeline is we don't want to force our customer to go to everything from us. We want to make it an open ecosystem. We want to encourage them to use anything in their studio they invested already because that's money. 
we care about your money, we care about your investment. So any of our product, even our, I mean, Minimax series, also our Vaughn, maybe because it's very compact, we have to have our own, like a mini Boeing system, but we also have a converter to help you to convert to the Boeing system. So if you have modifiers in your studio already, just to buy a inverter from us, and then you can convert to any kind of, self, I mean, with a software box and our modifiers you have in your hands already. But in the other end, we also have very good modifiers in our system, like a quick release software box, one second, any single, weak woman can do that oh like five years ago weak can do that you know yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean five years ago can do that so any people can do that so we make them very friendly for anyone in this industry helena in case that the, I, I run out of battery what other uh, powering options do i have with this light any kind of we say pd pd approved fast charging system works with that that's one and what happened here in the back can i actually disconnect it and use other Industry. You can use any V-mount battery in your hands. We make it universal because we want to make sure you have all the investment being taken care. What about, because I see that you changed from the last model, you made this head now flexible because bef I think before it was not and now you can actually change the rotation. Yes, so because we notice we keep improving, we keep looking at how our users using the product in their hands. So we notice they always need the ball head and then instead of them buying a light top and buying another ball head adapter and then we just combine them together, save them the cost. Great. I just bring some of the stuff here yes. because obviously we talked before about uh, this is a big color light originally, but yep. you can also change. Doesn't look very nice. Can we also put some drink here? <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, that's right? really cock one? small cocktails or oh, yeah. yeah, sake. Yeah, I think it can work really, really nice. Yeah. But okay, so how many? That's part of the kit. Yeah, there are six six of our gels here because we all heard, I mean, why you don't do RGB? Because we all know RGB is going to sacrifice a lot of efficiency. And from our observation, 95% of the time, you might just focus on white color, white color. But the other case is sometimes you need a color gel because you want to shoot some of that different color of skin, right? So, for example, pink. Oh, it's strong, right? Purple strong and then if i want to create some of the very interesting atmosphere i want to use the blue yes we also have a red one so it's very easy and the other thing is you might think it is too strong too sharp of the light because it's bright you know diffuser yeah okay almost the last question <laughs> because that can this conversation can go forever yeah. Uh, in terms of fan or overheating, how do you protect your light not to get too hot? We have all the sensor system. First is we have, we say, at maybe uh, more than 40 different kind of tests to guarantee the heat is be controlled. You know, we are working with all the premium, you know, lights in the past and we know all the regulation in the world like a UL with like a KC, KC and JP, um, I mean, uh, PSE, okay, all those kind of regulations, we knew that. So we were designed to make sure that because the best quality is not come from just the manufacturing. It's not just to come from the supply chain, but it's mainly come from the design. And everything is being made in-house? In-house. We only do the manufacturing by ourselves because I know there's a lot of brands do the outsourcing, but for premium things, it's very important that all the details be guaranteed. So like the fan, like the heating system, and also the, I mean, the temperature control of the system, the sensor, the software, everything is building our Shanghai factory. We have 200 people there. So many Chinese companies are spreading a little bit, wanting to do other stuff from tripods, from lenses, from, you know, whatever sound. Do you think when we talk again in five years time, you're still going to do only lights or you might expand a little bit? I wouldn't say like the only lights because we actually, even in work light, we not just do work light, we also do supporting accessories, but we don't want to do everything. This is one thing very important because you only can good on some things, you cannot good on everything. The second thing is we will do something supporting the whole solution to make sure your daily use, for example, you also see instead of just a light, but we also have some of the limited selection of our tripod or light stand. They are all carbon fiber and we actually put all our hands on the design and we open the mode and we all manufacturing by ourselves so why we do that because without those kind of things there we cannot have a very portable light easy use light stand to support our lighting solution so we will have something to support our lighting solutions to bring a very easy life to all our content creators good how about pricing and availability 
Uh, we have all the things in the stock, and we have many stock in the world. We have like a three warehouse in the United States can deliver like a two days delivery to any almost any city. And then we also have Germany warehouse, UK warehouse, and Scandinavian warehouse can deliver in two or three days in whole Europe. We also Australian and Korea and Japan and China. Okay. So pricing is you know we are not cheap. But we are, we say, uh, we are using premium quality design there, and then we are very fair of the margin there to guarantee we deliver the best quality and with the very good cost competitive. I would say cost is not just about how to see the how many of the dollar per or euro per was, but what is the money you spend there for every day after you use three years or five years. So pricing and availability. Um, we start from like a five ninety nine. To for seven ninety nine, based on different kind of accessory or kit. We have, for example, travel kit. We also have creator kit. We also have stand up basic kit. So, pick up the one you want. Okay, great. Thank you very Thank much you. for your time. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Me too. And we talk soon. Thank yeah, you. Talk soon. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.